What's going on guys, Mitch here, and today I've got another ASOS video for you. Uh, I've got three New Jersey colors to show you from ASOS. Uh, for reference, it is the Equip RS Jersey S11. Uh, so three of the colors, I've got a black, a white, and I think a gray, I can't remember. Uh, we'll go into that, show the New Jerseys, talk about them. Uh, this is a pretty casual conversation, as uh, you guys should probably know by now that I'm not going into extreme detail on anything. So um, let's get these guys open, take a look at the New Jerseys, talk about them, talk about my experience with the Equip RS jerseys in the past, the S9s, the Targas, uh, previous generations prior to that, and kind of uh, do some comparisons, talk about it, and then uh, get into it. So um, as we get into the boxes here, they're all going to be the same, so I'm only going to show one. But uh, pretty cool. Uh, less consumption, less waste, less is more. Uh, this is what uh, the wife says about my receding hairline. Some cool paper that it comes with, and then the jerseys themselves. So I'm going to take these out one at a time and then put them on the table. And then, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll talk about them. So I'll cut to that now instead of making you watch me do it. All right. And uh, just like that, as if magic is uh, something I do. We've got three beautiful jerseys here, and uh, I'm, I'm stoked on these because the ASOS Equip RS stuff that I've had, you know, as you know, I've had fall, winter, for, sorry, fall, spring, winter, uh, full summer kits, they all seem to last a really long time, and I really dig them. So uh, this year, these are going to be the three colors, plus obviously some old kit that I'm adding, uh, or adding to the vlog, uh, I guess, ride wear that you'll see me in, but I've always tended to kind of err on the side of more timeless colors and the jerseys specifically. So um, let's get into these jerseys, talk about what differentiates them. Do you guys have a preference on which exact one you want me to kind of go into? I, I didn't think you really did. Uh, which one seems to look best on camera? I don't know. Uh, maybe we'll go anything gray, white. Let's go white to start off. And then, uh, yeah, we'll kind of show each as we go. And, you know, we've got lots of time today, so there we go. So let's take a look. Um, so a couple claims on this jersey, and I guess I could kind of show you the tag here as well. If you want to see that, scan that, take a look at that. Whatever it is you want to do with it, go for it. Um, there you go. So they all, I believe, have this armband, which is kind of the new ASOS logoing thing. Versus, uh, well, they've always kind of had something up on that left arm. I don't know why the left arm. Uh, but the main difference in the, the S9 versus now this guy, the S11, is they've apparently lightened the material up. And as you guys know, no one's really paying attention uh, to race wear, right? So if you have lighter socks, lighter jersey, lighter bibs, uh, it all adds up. You know, we talk about how much money we spend on saving grams on a bike. But no one really talks about grams on a kit. So they've lightened things up with a lot of really smart uses on a lot of materials and whatnot. So, you know, pretty cool to see. But besides that, weight reduction, um, apparently it's more of a race fit on the sleeve. So if you go on their website and you see, uh, you know, these uh, big guys riding up hills on road bikes, a lot of the time, you know, they don't all, or a lot of us who are serious racers don't all have huge biceps. And, uh, you know, NFL linebacker physique that some of the models they use have. It's so funny how that works. Um, so they've gone with this, you'd think it would be like an aero material, right? But really it's supposed to be more elastic on the arms, which tells me that they're going for a skinnier arm fit, which is good because uh, I'm not exactly bulging on the biceps and fit sometimes up here can be a little bit um, underwhelming. So this should hopefully tighten that up. And then obviously, same material on the left side, but uh, refined. The other one as well, you'll see everything's kind of bonded and uh, seamless on the cuts. So there's no seams on the end, which is cool. As you can kind of see around, it looks like it's cut for ergonomics, which it is. But on the inside of the sleeve, as we can actually see here, it looks like on one side of it, it's actually reinforced. That's an interesting little move, but on the other it's not, so well, that'll be interesting to see how it works. The actual fit on it, um, to me, looks almost like a like a golf ball material. It's almost like waffling, 
uh, very, very breathable, very see-through. It is uh, it is rated for sun as well, so you're not going to have to wear sunscreen underneath portions of this jersey, but I believe there's a couple spots you may have to. I remember reading something about that. Um, obviously, it's a nice zip. Good quality zipper, top down. As you see, metal zipper as well, with the little ASOS logo, which is awesome. Goes all the way down to the bottom. And we should have a little coverage. There you go. Lots to see on the bottom of the zipper. There's always usually a little protector on the bottom, which is awesome. And I'm gonna open this guy up and uh, see what we got going on on the inside. And I wish I could just take that card off because that's really annoying and I might have to do that because I can't open this when I want to. Um, on the inside, this should be no surprise, really well done. And, and remember, you know, as I mentioned last week on the Equip RS S11 bids, you know, this is quality that's very similar to a bespoke garment for a man uh, or a woman. It's well done. I don't need to sit here and talk about, you know, look at the quality of the stitching and, and craftsmanship. It, it's well done. It's some of the best. It's stuff that's going to last years and years and years, and it won't fail because of stitching. I'll tell you that. It'll fail because you fall onto it and rip it. Uh, and in which case, if that happens, utilize their crash uh, replacement program and get it fixed or repaired or uh, get a replacement. Like, that's what it's there for. Okay, so let's start on the bottom of the jersey here. So, um, you can see, obviously, on the back here, rubber strip. Or I guess, hopefully, you see a rubber strip if it wants to focus uh, along the back. So that prevents the jersey from kind of sliding up. But as you'll see, as you go around the inside, there's no rubber strip on the front. So it doesn't slide. Um, there's no need for it to, I guess, resist sliding up on the front because it tends to actually sit lower when you're hunched over. So quality there, but once again, you're saving weight, which is awesome. Uh, do we have the pockets? Cut out. I don't think we really do need it anymore. Uh, but then some of the old equipped stuff, they had a little hole for like iPhone cords and whatnot, or I guess music cords. Uh, don't see that anymore, which is fine. Uh, everything's wireless now. Uh, as we go down the jersey, you'll see more of a diamond pattern in the back. This is a different material actually than the front, and is very um, breathable AF. That means as funk. And just to give you an idea here, I'm going to put a light through this to give you an idea of how ridiculously see-through this is and how good that means, or what that means for breathability. Like, what does that show, guys? Like, sweat is going to be wicking through this thing and off of your body like no tomorrow, which is something I love, obviously, is to not be soaking in my own filth. You've got your ASOS logo up top here. Oh, I've got large which is my size, obviously, I'm 6'3", about 200 pounds, 205, depending on how much chicken I've had, uh, which is awesome. Now let's go back to the, the ultimate good side here. Um, ASOS is kind of known for having dark pockets on the back, and you'd think there's a reason for that, uh, like a design choice, but really it's actually functional. If we look at both, here's the, the gray jersey as well. It actually fades to black, and it's so that road spray doesn't stain your beautiful pockets. So, you, you know, white clean jersey, great for summer rides. Obviously, this is a, a kind of bluish gray, but, uh, it, you know, isn't going to be prone to that. But um, pretty cool nonetheless that you get a, you know, a little bit of a guard there from road spray. When we kind of go into the pockets, they should have the inside. They do. So you get this, like, little flap in here. I don't know how well I can show this, but on the inside of the pocket, see there's a black strip. This part right here, that opens down into the pocket. It's like a little flap, so that when you put stuff in your pocket, it prevents things from sliding out. And if I can show you, because why wouldn't I show you? Let's grab a tape measure that I just grabbed from the upstairs master bedroom. That was a joke. I hope you understand that. So now I have that in there, and uh, you can hopefully see the flap kind of folds out in front of it in the event that it. Uh, has to come out so there you go pretty cool but anyway so yeah obviously you have that different material in the back 
Um, let's see, as we go up onto the shoulders, I think we even have a third material here. And there's the junction of three different materials there. Uh, that's interesting. So up on the ch up on the shoulder top, you're going to want maximum tension, which is what that's going to give you. But it's interesting how they use three different materials, and I don't know if they actually advertise this, or if they just say like, oh, one of them, or the front, or the back. You're kind of seeing the front is that golf ball material, super soft. The back is ultra breathable, and the shoulders kind of, I guess, ultra elastic. So that's cool. And then the sleeve, a fourth. Interesting. Four different materials on a single jersey. You're not getting that from everyone else. I'll be honest with you. Uh, I talked about the sleeves already. I talked about the material there. Um, I did see on the gray, there's something written on the bottom that I didn't see written on this. And then I will compare it to the black, but on the right side here. Uh, let's see. Is there something on here? No, nothing. Okay, well, there's something on the gray. That I just quickly noticed. Um, cool. Model DEP Equip RS11 Torpedo Gray Unico. I don't know what that means. If someone wants to tell me in the comments, that'd be cool. But same kind of thing if you want to see the different colors of the gray, and then now I'll show the black here in a couple seconds. But you'll see the same material on the sleeves, ultra breathable. ASOS logo on the front, which is always appreciated. Uh, it doesn't have the racing uh, stripes on the on the left sleeve like that one, so a little more casual, which is kind of cool. Same interior compartment on the large on the logoing. Nice and rolled collar on the front, and here you go as well. Once uh, I kind of show this, so on the back, a higher cut neck to kind of keep your neck from burning. And then it goes into a rolled top part of the jersey, which is not sewn down. As you can see, this is ultra, ultra breathable, but it's rolled. So you're not going to get any cuts, scrapes, abrasion on your side of your face, which is awesome. Three jersey pockets as well on this one. And then actually an additional material on the back. Um, I've shown this on a lot of the jackets I've reviewed for ASOS but uh, a different material as well beneath the pockets. Hopefully you can see that. So that must be like a reinforcement or a little more durable. So now we're up to a fifth material on this. Jeez, it just keeps on rolling and getting better. And then a nice little ASOS logo on the back, which is always cool. I'm gonna pull the black one here uh, to show as well. Which should be their traditional racing kind of cut color, right? So black on black all the way around. You've got the three different fabrics meshing there in the corner. You've got the rolled collar on the neck. Nice smooth all the way around. The ASOS racing sleeve, which is just something I love. It's so timeless and you can kind of spot your ASOS bros out on the trail, or I guess road, I'm used to saying that. And then uh, once again, you've got your three different cuts, four, if you want to include the sleeves there. And as my camera decides to change into extremely bright light, you'll see uh, a different kind of color palette. Obviously very, very breathable, as you can kind of see through the camera, the cutting board there. And then the back pocket, we've got that ASOS logo once again, which looks real good. And uh, just a solid, well-made jersey. And yeah, they always seem to put a different kind of material underneath the actual back pockets, which once again have that beautiful strip on it to kind of hold everything in place, whereas the front doesn't. Otherwise, that is it, my friends. I think that's three different jerseys, three different colors uh, that all add up to one badass summer of vlogging coming up, coming your way. If you are uh, interested in checking that out, I, I uh, say definitely subscribe to me. I've, not, I've been vlogging now on the road bike here for, geez, three, three years now. And uh, the mileage is going up. The performance is staying absolute bush league as always. But the fun is always uh, staying the same. I, I love riding my bike and love uh, taking you guys with me. So um, there's the, the summer kit that you're going to be seeing this year. And uh, I'm stoked to take you along, have fun. And what I'm gonna do here is once I have some time on these three jerseys, I'm gonna do a review, full review like I always do, and uh, and talk about that. 
because an unboxing is just an unboxing, but I'm sure we'll be talking jerseys, talking parts, talking probably tubeless problems like everyone else. Um, but just more than anything, just having a good time this summer together. So uh, that's it for me, guys. Appreciate you stopping by, checking out the new Equip RS S11 jersey. And if you have any questions, comments, whatever, leave them below. Otherwise, like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. And until next time, we'll catch you around. Peace.